Hey, my name is Zach, and today I'm going to talk to you about the advantages and disadvantages between the Kindle and a paperback book. Now, welcome to Back in Time. As far as I'm concerned, you can thumb through these and they have great information. But, most likely, I can get it on here. But, that doesn't mean that on the Kindle, that's the only thing I should have. Let's say I'm going to the beach, and it's really hot out, but I have a book report due. I can bring this in the water and not be worried because it's not an electronic. I can go up to my neck and hold it above my head and read the book and be nice and cool. Whereas with my Kindle, if I drop that in the water, she's a goner. But that doesn't mean you should only go with the paperback book. The Kindle, you can go on the internet, play games, check your Facebook, email, you can use productivity apps. As far as I'm concerned, this is a Palm Pilot, a little bit bigger though. So, give a Kindle a try. I think it's a better option than an old paperback book. Lastly, I'd like to mention the fact that in books, you can just select any one, and let's say I'm reading at night. As far as I'm concerned, I can't see any of these pages and nothing I do will light it up unless I use an external light. But the good thing about the Kindle is I can change the settings to black. And if I hit that, the white text really does pop because the black matches the environment I'm in. So you make the choice and be the judge. My name is Zach and I just showed you the differences between a paperback book and a Kindle. Thank you for watching.